Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over a couple of shooting drills that we tried out with our high school group. Uh, it's some good warm-up drills, kind of get your blood flowing, uh, get you communicating, get you taking some shots up. And uh, this first one, we didn't have any specific name for it. I just call it maybe like three partner shooting or something like that, or uh, three group shooting, two partner, whatever it is. You can kind of customize it to whatever you see fit based on how the drill is. Uh, but we're going to show you how this works. So basically you have three people in a group, two people with the ball, one person um, who is kind of floating and just kind of finding a spot on the floor. So what happens is you shoot one at a time and it starts off pretty slow at first. And then once you get the hang of it, uh, kids start to kind of pick it up and they move a little bit quicker. Um, so the person without the ball, okay, without the ball is going to find a spot on the court and be spotting up waiting for the ball. So you're going to have one person shooting and then if you shoot the ball, the rules are you get your own rebound and you're going to pass the ball out to the person without the ball. All right, so currently three is the person without the ball. One's going to start it off. He or she shoots the ball. They get their own rebound. They find three. Then as soon as one does that and releases the ball, they're going to be finding a spot on the court. And then it's two's turn to shoot. And now two turns into the rebounder. One's going to turn into the guy without the ball and receiving a pass to shoot again. And then after that, two releases the ball, uh, you know, from the pass. Now they have to find a spot, three shoots, passes to two, and the cycle just continues. So you're always passing to the same person for the entirety of the drill, okay? And uh, that, that kind of makes it a little bit easier. And key things here is uh, what we noticed is, you know, I told my guys is it, it helps on communication because at first, if you're, you know, especially as you start speeding up, it can get a little confusing, but you have to keep talking to your partner. So if there's a partner who, you know, drills starting to speed up, you just keep talking to them. So, hey, I'm going corner. Hey, I'm going top. Hey, I'm going right wing, left wing. That way it triggers in their brain. That's my guy I'm passing to. And uh, also it gets you used to talking to them, you know, talking to your teammates when you want the ball. So uh, points of emphasis, like I told you guys, don't pass it to anybody if they're not open. Uh, if they're not looking yet and make sure that you call everybody's name out before the pass comes out they're just kind of building in some good habits uh, and reminding the guys like when you, whenever you're running to a spot on the floor you know spotting up getting your feet set hopping into the shot taking a shot so we did this for five minutes the other day and it was a really good we did actually two sets of it and then after the first set we let our kids switch up a little bit that way they're getting used to playing with other guys and um you know, it's not working with just the same people constantly, but it was a really good warm up for us to get our blood moving, get some shots up. So let me kind of demonstrate that for you here. So you see two shoots the ball, gets his own rebound. Three's getting on a spot on the floor. Now two's going to go find a spot on the floor to shoot. One gets his own rebound or her rebound, pops it out. Three shoots, gets their own rebound. One's finding a spot on the floor. And then as you see the cycle is going to continue and continue and continue. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if this happens, as you see one shot at long, it's okay if you if the, the player that's waiting under the basket gets the rebound. Okay, and if that if that's the case, um, then what happens is two would say, I got rebound, I got rebound, and this person, it triggers them to go and get open somewhere. Okay, and, and why do we allow that in the drill is because we don't want this person to pick up the habit of, oh, it's not my rebound. I want them to train themselves of, you know, if I see the rebound and I'm able to get it, I'm going to go get it because that's a game type situation that you don't want them. Um, you want them to go get the loose balls if they can, if they're able. All right. So in that case, two gets his or his or her own rebound and they just go find a spot and they shoot. Uh, and we don't change the order up of, um, you know, of how, how things were going. Okay. So as you see there, again, you shoot it, get your own rebound pop it out to the person if for some reason the person you were going to pass it to gets their own rebound or gets your rebound uh, because it's falling right to their lap then they just dribble out and find a spot and then you go get ready for the next shot okay now the second drill uh, is one in which this is another warm-up drill so we'll kind of show you how uh, the setup is initially here probably want at least six players just because it's going to move kind of start moving kind of quick and you want to give you know each line time to kind of fill back up all right so what basically happens is you want to coach here 
and you're going to go one line at a time and it just alternates all right so what happens uh, you get two lines everybody's going to have their own ball get their own rebound and basically one line's going to trigger it off as they're going to pass to the coach they're going to take one or two steps in uh, mid-range coach is going to pass it to them they're going to take a shot get their own rebound transition to the other line uh, this player here needs to read you know as soon as the ball is released from this player they're going to bounce pass to uh, the coach step in receive a pass back shoot rotate so the key thing on these guys here i want to tell them uh, make sure that the ball is released from the other player before you pass to the coach a couple reasons is make sure that we're not cluttered up and running at each other on um, you know off of the jump shots and everything on the transitions and plus you want to make sure the coach is actually uh, looking before you pass the ball so we're still building good habits there and we just kind of continue to rotate uh, around so let me show you a slower version of that as you see here they pass it there step in there's the shot getting their own rebound and then five is going to pass it to the coach step in pass shoot now one should be stepping up and passing to the coach and you kind of go slow at first to kind of teach it and then eventually it kind of does speed up once the kids get the hang of it and this is pretty much the gist of it just getting some mid-range high elbow jump shots there and uh, after a you know, few rounds of each what you can do is you can change it up to where okay you know uh, when I when you get the ball you know catch it off of here you can do a head fake uh, hesitation move something and attack the rim so it can be a, a move to the rim next and just kind of build up uh, from there to give them some different looks and you can change it up on different spots um, as well on the court but this is one thing that really helped um, you know kind of just get our blood flow and get some shots up see the balls go in so I want to show you just kind of a faster pace from both of the drills this is the first one this is a three-man shooting This is more of the pace that you want here is to kind of have them move around a little bit. And then this is the second shooting drill here. And that's pretty much it guys. Just wanted to show you a couple of little warm-up drills to kind of get you guys going. Uh, get, you know, get their blood flowing, get some shots up. Let me know your thoughts below. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one.